Hello there, this is your tech concierge, Avi Uniglicht, and today I'm going to be setting up a brand new Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series laptop right out of the box that includes Windows 10. And as a result, I want to make sure that the settings are accurate for Windows 10 so that they do not compromise your security as much as they potentially can. Know that the express settings on a Windows 10 computer are fully loaded to get you as much exposure to Microsoft in the world as possible. So I want to make sure that if you're installing Windows 10 for the first time that you consider those options. This is the first screen you see when you turn your machine on and it takes you through some basic settings. So I'm going to go quickly through these. Uh, in this particular case we're in the Eastern Time Zone so we're going to select Eastern simply by scrolling down the page and we find Eastern Time. Bang! We click Next and the screen comes up. Obviously you have to go through the legal stuff so we agree to that. Sometimes you want to read that. There's some good information in there. Uh, we also want to connect to a Wi-Fi connection. For now I'm going to skip that step just so that we can get through this quickly. Now, this is where you can use Express Settings and you'll notice the Customize Settings link is very small on the screen. This is what most people will click and they'll bypass their ability to make those changes in the front end. You could always go in and make those changes later, but what we want to do is choose Customize Settings. And I want to expose you to some of the questions that you don't see if you choose Express Settings. The first is to personalize your speech typing and inking input by sending contacts and calendar details along with other associated input to Microsoft. No thank you, I'm going to turn that off. Send typing and inking data to Microsoft to improve the recognition and suggestion platform. While this would be helpful, I'm going to say no to that. Let apps use your advertising ID for experiences across apps. Again, if you like advertising, say yes, I say no to that. Let Windows and apps request your location, including location history, and send Microsoft and trusted partners some location data to improve location services. I don't think so. Let's turn that off as well. We're going to go next. More customization settings. Browser and protection. Use smart screen online services to help protect against malicious content and downloads and sites loaded by Windows browsers. I'm okay with that. Let's leave that on. Use page prediction to improve reading speed up browsing and make your overall experience better in Windows browsers. Your browsing data will be sent to Microsoft. Uh, don't know about that one. Do you want your browsing data being sent to Microsoft? That's, a, that's a, a toss up. You can say yes or no on that one. Connectivity and error reporting. Automatically connect to suggested open hotspots. Not all networks are secure. Don't do that. You, you decide whether you want to connect automatically connect the network shared by your contacts. I don't think so. That's not a good idea either. Let's turn that off. Send error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. Let's move down the list a little bit. Uh, error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. I'm not so sure that that is a good thing. We'll turn that off as well. So let's click Next. And now you'll see that in a moment you'll be able to start up the machine and take you off. But I wanted to express my concerns about these particular areas of uh, exposure of your privacy and that's what's going on. Okay, So here's where you'll create an account for your PC. I'll let you go on from here. If you have any questions you could always reach out to me, Avi Uniglick, your tech concierge at askavie.com. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tune, soon with another Tech Talk event on Periscope. Have a great day.